right, I'm in the Bodmin Jail and I've just set myself up and we're having a, look, a little look around. It's, it's all been lit. Oh my god! It's, it's a ghost! <laughs> oh no, it's just a staff member because I can't see very much here but my camera can. But yeah, um, hello. Hi. Hi. How um, are you? What, what, uh, what should we call you? My name's Kirsten. Kirsten, sorry. Yeah. Hi. Kirsten, honey, and I am the paranormal manager at Bobbin Jail. And how long have you been here? Seven years. Yeah. Have you seen anything in the time you've been here? Everything you could possibly think of paranormally. Right. From sparks of light, balls of energy, mists, partial manifestations, full manifestations, uh, mimicry, demonic energy, dark energy, non-human entities, creepy crawlies, everything you could possibly think of. Let me neck. <laughs> well, I th we're in good hands. Then you're going to tell us which uh, which rooms are the the, the, the the big ones, or are you going to let us do it, find out, and tell you, and you confirm? I think you should find out for yourself. Mm -hmm. However, I would definitely say be careful in three main areas. One is the admin block. Uh, I'm not going to divulge where. One is the courtroom, and one definitely is amongst you in the neighbour wing as well. Great, okay. Mm -hmm. well, thank you for that. You're very welcome. I'm looking forward to it and it looks like a fairly big building and we've pr basically got a lot of access, haven't we? In, you, in have, here? you have access to three buildings tonight. Wow. So you have access to the old hospital wing, the old medical block, uh, part of what would have been an old debtor's prison. You also have the naval wing and our administration block. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We You're shall see welcome. you in the middle of the night or at least All if right. you scream, you'll know where we'll be. If you scream, I'm going to know you're alive. Okay, great. <laughs> and luckily, they have actually got infrared cameras in here. They're all mm -hmm. hidden around. So if anything happens to us, we should be on camera so they will know where we are. Yes, That's absolutely. good. Yeah. Have even, fun, though, guys. even though we're going to feel on our own, we're not on our own. You are most definitely not on your own. <laughs> okay, now. thanks very much. <laughs> you're very welcome. Cheers. Bye. Bye. And actually, out there, they've got a hotel. And the hotel is actually in use even when... The, uh, the building is kind of, you know, shut down at night. So these, these are the parts where the public come in. And as you can see, we've got, um, we've got this little area. Let's put my light on so you can see a bit better. Oh, there's a the light. This is where you get your tickets. So this is uh, all the computers and things. There we go. All right, let's get this on then. Whoa, there we go. And then you've got your turnstiles and seats, and this is the main way in. And this looks like it's kind of a new building because they've got all the uh, all the pipe works and things up here. So it's kind of a new wing. But I wonder whether we'll get anything paranormal in this bit. I doubt it, but we shall see. So what have we got down here then? This is the this is the area with uh, where the public come in and get the tour. So it's all been darkened out with so the the ghosty ghosty stuff. Wow, this looks good. Oh, we've got a cog going on in the ceiling here, and uh, yeah, electric stuff pumps. So not for electrocuting people then. Or maybe, I've got a lift there, look. So I have to be careful because they have turned the lights off and I literally, if I turn this off, you know, it's pretty dark. It's not too dark on the stairs because they did actually say, for health and safety reasons, they can't turn the lights off on the stairs. But they can turn them off everywhere else. Wow, everybody getting this? This is all rocky, rocky surfaces in here, so, hmm, oh yeah, barbed wire, nice, is that actual real barbed wire, yeah, real barbed wire, oh no, 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 it's not, it's plastic, it's safety barbed wire, it's plastic so you can't hurt yourself, I was thinking they wouldn't really put real barbed wire in here, would they, no, actually they don't. So, hmm. So here's uh, 
Here's an exhibit. Oh. Got, uh, stag horns. It does help if I've got a little bit of light on. That's locked. So I imagine there's probably a little bit more light on you usually and they would have effects going. So they've got a mine cart up there. Wonder what they were doing mining in uh, in a jail, but uh, maybe these are questions that are beyond my pay grade. And skeletons uh, in boats. Yes, for the underground river that goes to the sea, no doubt. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, this this bit's been made up for the uh, for the tourists. Ooh. But are we allowed in these bits? Oh yes, we are. Ooh, interesting. So it's like a lecture theatre room, or in fact a court. I think this is a courthouse. It's supposed to be. So we've got the people in the dock. Yeah. And we've got the actual court itself with the uh, Ichdeen. Ooh. What's this then? This looks like it's um, one of those smoke and mirror type setups where they probably project project the figures into the uh, into the area back there so it's probably like a 3d holographic projection which we're not going to get to see tonight continue this way to the cells and we've got somewhere that's over there but I don't know what that goes to so we're gonna have a look at the cells me fearless Matt out on his own filming again I ain't afraid of no ghosts oh it's getting a little bit uh, lower height here oh my god <laughs> Yeah. You fucking scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Yeah? I scared the shit out of myself, mate. <laughs> oh, you got all your stuff down here, have you? I've got some of it in the office. Right. Yeah, I kept mine upstairs. Mmm, nice little cafe room. All the, all the gear. So, as we say, Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. And it's hey. Kate, Bad Katie. Cat paranormal. Bad cat. <laughs> Is it, is it Katie though? Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah, that was really <laughs> close that was. It was so, so close. Yeah. Right, first yeah. Oh, I, I'm rubbish though. Actually with me, you'll find it's like, it's, you've got to, when I get that embarrassed then I start remembering because I'm so bad. I'm like... Don't worry, you can call me whatever no. you want. Okay. <laughs> How did you feel about that woman wanting to give you a spanking? How did I, how did I feel her? How did you feel? I, I wouldn't dare, mate. She'd slap me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and it's proving demons. And Haley, by the way. And Hello. is it is this Kate? Tara. 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 Yeah. So I said Tara, didn't Tara. I? I didn't say Kara. I would say Tara. And proving demons. Long time no see, brother. Yes. How are you doing? I'm, I'm, really I'm Salam. <laughs> yeah. I'm well excited for this. Yeah. It's looking nice. I'm gonna get some stuff in Where's Kate? Mm. So these are the cells. Yeah, so let's leave them in there and let's go and have a look at the cells. Oh dear, right. This one? Right. Oh my god! Yeah, look. They let them have a wooden chamber. Look how nice of them, isn't it? I don't think there's a handle to open it, so don't shut it. Don't shut it proper. <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah, if you go right, yeah, that's 
Mm. So, the beds. I would, have, I would have imagined there's more than one person in a cell. Can't believe this is one person in a cell. Right, wow. Do we get the big light out? Ching. Could do, couldn't we? Why mess about in that? Why mess about with, with crap? And we can have bright. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ah, some of them have got lights on. And a sewage pipe. Nice. Caught alive. Somebody just broke wind then. I think it was a spirit. Oh, nice. It's an Albert Einstein room. Yeah. That'll learn them. I wonder what these um, mirrors are. Whether or not they illuminate and they've got like ghostly figures or something in them. They've all got... Each one of these rooms has got one of these screens, I suppose. Not a mirror. Probably tell you what's going on. They are prison hygiene. It was ruled that all prisoners, except debtors, should have a tepid bath once every three months, except debtors. So if you owe money, yeah, you don't get a bath. Whoa. Wonder why. Hello. This is a uh, model of them to it because they're obviously busy. See if they get any stuff. Mm. Oh, right. So this is a, uh, what, washroom? Wh whipping room. Crank room. It says there... It says that the crank was a piece of machinery designed for no other purpose than to exhaust or punish a prisoner. It says the crank consisted of a large handle with a counter, and the crank was the crank was attached to a set of cogs. Just turn my gimbal back on, sorry, folks. Here it comes. There it is. Right. The crank was then. Attached to a set of cogs which pushed a paddle through sand or gravel. The waters could tighten up the crank, making it harder to turn, which is where they got the nickname screws. Prisoners would have to turn the handle up to 15,000 times a day without any end product of their hard work. Well, well. And they used to whip them. DJ whip them. Mmm. Whip them. Yeah, they used to. Carry, carried out in public to act as a deterrent. Yeah. And uh, they must have put them in these, these things here, I suppose. Maybe. Yeah, is it? Hmm. Oakum picking. Picking oak. Picking oakum was the, one of the most f common forms of hard labour. Prisoners were given quantities of old rope, which they had to untwist into individual strands. They then had to unroll, unroll these, teasing out the fibres, which would be very hard on the fingers. The loose fibres were then sold to shipbuilders for mixing with tar to seal the lining of wooden craft. They could also be used to make matting or bandaging. Oh dear. Oh. Oops. Glad nobody heard that. Just been waiting for a while to get rid of that. Um. Mm. So that's just a fire door out. Out of the building. That's locked. Sounds like heating equipment. It smells nice actually. It was like a perfume. Uh, 
candles and equipment again. Oh, we're in dark mode. Right, let's get this back up. Oh, toilets. Actually, I couldn't come to a jail and, and not, could I really? Let's get in there, folks. Check it out. Oh, it's amazing. I'm gonna, we're gonna have some comfort tonight, folks. Should be wanting to go to the loo for a while. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Right, well, we didn't find any uh, toilets, toilet spirits, but there's still time. We found nice, nice uh, fragrance in there, though. It was the odor de toilette. What's this then? Because this is locked. Is it meant to be? Ooh. Oh my god! Oh, disgraceful. I wonder if you open it at certain times of night and there's, a, there's actually a room there. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hi Miles. Hello Matt. Right, back from my call interruption. Here we go. Right. What's this then? Just like a so what do you washing bed or something? Bizarre. What would that be? Children, children in the jail. Hmm. Not very nice, is it? The thought of that. Oh yeah. It's the it's the naughty uh, illness man for the plague plague doctors. This one goes into more than one area. Children. I'm not sure if there's one on the toilet. Individual jail rooms. And we're back out and back round, so should we check out to see whether or not there is another is it another one that's the exit oh oh equipment room i think that um that's a backup power power supply they don't say not to go in there they don't say it's not it's an off limits room which is interesting I would have thought that should have been, and hmm, there, there, there it is, the secret vault. Oh, what's this one then? I think this is the walkway into that other room, isn't it? We came down here, boom, 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 boom. into the courtroom. This must be like a three-dimensional uh, theatre display, projected onto the the gauze. Yeah, so it makes it look like there's three three D people in there. I think people, oh, right. people watch a like a show, as it were. I imagine because there's there's must be a reason the gauze is there. What's oh, down here then? Oh, right there. Uh, no, no, they probably project onto the gauze and it makes it look like there's, there's people in there. But, you know, obviously the, the projectors are not on. 
He said, you have it. You know it. Yeah, I've got So we've got another room. This is like an... Uh, yeah. Uh, what, for the Wi-Fi? Yeah. Uh, it's B-O... B-O-D. Yeah. So it's... it's, it's B-O-D. Right, so it's the undercase for the bottom. Uh, no, it's uppercase B-O-D. And then capital A. And, uh, you know, the is lowercase. Yeah. And then there's an asterisk at the end. So it's bod. Yeah, you got it. Thank you, Matt. No worries. I'm not very good actually with memory. Oh yeah, hey, you got the doors open, So they should they should automatically close. Yeah. We was in here a second ago, Matt. Hmm. I'm not doing it again. These these doors are all locked. We was locked in. Oh, that's all right. I'll find a way out. No, this isn't the room, Mark. This is the room. Honey Street. Oh, I'm not in there. Why is it here? Where are they? Church Street. So, I wonder if they're... you're meant to see in these bits or not. Mm, yeah. No, these are all just fixed walls. They're not. There's nothing. Fire exit. So what's down here then? Ooh. Yeah, it takes you into another into the original room, I suppose. This is the original room. Yeah, so you go around in a circle. Oh, and, and down here. So, what's in this room? Let's have a quick look, folks. Ching. There we go. Oh, wow. God, they've got enough uh, video equipment and lights here. Video projection onto this gauze, look. See, I was telling you about the gauze projection. So this is um, gauze. Smoke machines back there, strobe units, and then the projectors projecting through the gauze to give you uh, stuff that's seen in the background. So, yeah. No, oh, this is the, what, the equipment room or? Oh. Really? Oh, that's on a um, that's on a trolley. So this is all rails. Look. So what they do is they move this partition out of the way, and this um, ship must come through there and go into the room. So it becomes part of the show. So yeah, it's like 3D 3D animation for real. What's in here then? You've got to have a you've got to have a pass. Can't get in. Not allowed. But yeah, that um, that wall there that we can see in front, that will slide back, and uh, pirate ship will come out. So interesting. So there's a bit of thought gone into this. Then it's not as. Uh, not as basic as it's looking right now because we don't have the lights on. But there we are. Interactive. Slightly more fun than some of these things. Yeah. Hello. Mr. I'm just having, I'm just having a look at you. You must. You've got a pirate ship that comes out behind a, a thing that slides out of the way. So. So you've got a gauze 3D projection do you know, system. Do you know where Mark is by any chance? No, uh, they're no. back in the maybe. Went upstairs, I think. Oh, well, I've got most of you here. So I don't think you guys wanted to walk around earlier, so it's not your fault. This room is off limits. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. sorry. See, we've already been no, to no, that. It's fine, it's fine. Mm. And the other one, the village. Right. That goes through. Yeah. yeah. Simply because of stuff like the ship. Yes. In the dark, we don't want really to get entangled up in that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, no problem. That's the only reason. 
didn't this didn't one? know. Yeah. No, no, you guys didn't know because you went on the yeah. walk around the market. Anyway, so. Oh well, at least I've got I've had the special tour now. <laughs> I've had the special and official tour. You know, the secret vault's going to go these places. <laughs> I have a history of like not being able to be kept out of places, so this is perfectly normal for me. <laughs> This one as well because ah, that's the, one there, of the first ones I went for. If you're in there, yep. you can't get out. Oh, ah. we discovered that already. We just got locked in one. Yeah, we already yeah, did. Yeah. I found these, li these little hooks at the top of the door you can yeah. pull. Yeah. You cannot get it turned off for some reason. Hmm. Um, it still gets really dark in here when the lights are off anyway, mm -hmm. even with that little projection on. Um, but yeah, so it shows them, and then they obviously head through to the cells and stuff. Over so there, kind of yeah. Story of, of what Does this kind of have like a 3D effect where, where they look like the judge is actually back there, yeah. or is it projected just onto the gauze? No, it looks like he's back. So there is yeah. actually. There is actually. More gauze? Stuff. Uh, is that what they're called? Gauze, yeah. This, this stuff here. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's projected onto yeah. this, but then there's that other projection behind so it gives that yeah. parallax effect. That's right, yeah, yeah. So each it's very cool when they yeah. do it. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I've seen it done in um, Las Vegas where they, they do uh, like a game show yeah. on the stage and you're like, well, when's it going to start? And it just goes bink and suddenly all the people are in the game show are on the stage. They do it in the village as well. So in the village it has a projection and it, like the doors open, you see the woman walk up the stairs and into the top window and it's all right. 3D. It's really well done. Yeah. Right? Oh, um, good. Right, I want Good to stuff. No, no, thank you. Thanks. Here we are. Look, if you want to come and see it for yourselves, folks, right, you can come and see how good it is then. So you can come and watch it. But yeah, this is 3D projection system. There you go. So we've got a staff yeah. council. The only. Right. Is it? Yeah. Is that a Christie digital projector? Digital projection. It's a laser projector. It's actually, it's a laser projector. Wow. Very expensive. Yep. Very expensive. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Mark's just set his um, whoops, webcam. Whoa. Mark's yeah. just set his webcam going, so he's now it's live. Not cam, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> his, <laughs> his bum baby cam. <laughs> bum, bum babies of Bodmin Jail. So fucking wrong, man. Bum babies of Bodmin Jail. Bum. <laughs> Born out of wedlock in a very satanic union. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Uh, right then folks. I'm gonna get a cup of tea. So right, we're back in the cells and we're going up. I've got a gimbal to lend somebody. So here we are. It's quite dark. Let's get a bit of light on. Guess what? I've got one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's oh, just. Yeah. Going around the other. So everybody's oh, set up. Guys. Oh, right. It's a reunion. Hey, hello. Yeah. Hello. The secret vault, Matt. Yeah. We've got Mark in the corner, Hayley, and I'm Tara. Tara. <laughs> <laughs> you guys having fun? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. I've just seen your live stream, Mark. There you go. Great. So this is just going to follow me round. Yeah. Oh. Right, I'll get back in. That way, then. There we go. Right, hold on. Oh, you're going to go that way, I'll go this way now. Okay. We'll catch up in a bit. I'm going to show the noose. Lovely, it's churchy, doesn't it? Oh, it's not. Right, so I'll hold the coffee in. I'm just going to show you all the noose. There it goes. So this is a hotel now. That we've got here so this is all hotel accommodation we might go and check out some of that in a bit see if we see if we can go in yep <laughs> a what of tonight so say you're on yeah it'll tell everyone where we are you don't want what? that's any trouble oh, what do you mean it'll tell people we're here right now oh. you know um I'm I'm a bit uh, concerned about you know yeah, I'm not surprised, really. idiots, but you know, um, of course not not normal fans, but uh, yeah. This was um, originally a court, wasn't it? Mm. This was the court. Right. 
the governor's. Yeah. Isn't it? Okay. Like, um, like a crown courty sort of thing. Right. Oh, I don't know if I can get in this way. Exit lock, exit only. Oh, no. Oh. There we go, guys. This is the... Wow. Hanging pit. Hanging pit. Whoa, so they used to hang people here, folks. There's a draw. Yeah. That's a long draw. Oh, it's full of water. For some reason. Get my camera lens a bit away from it. Hold on, guys. It's a bit grease, grease lightning. That's a bit better. I think that's a bit better. Yeah, so um, the hangman used to be in there where the map is. He'd, he'd be waiting in there, and then prisoners would be brought. Oh, this is to outdoors, like it's actually goes out. This is the jail wall. This is the only fully functional one. It's still that working. Jail wall. Don't know what this is. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. What's this then? Is some sort of light show or I don't know what this is, you've got to stand you've got to stand in here. And there's a fire exit, but uh, I don't know what uh, what they've got going on in here. Apart from maybe they show something through this window. Yeah, you've got a split mirror look. Split mirror so they'll be projecting from over there, onto that mirror to give you the 3D effect. Mm. Please wait here. Seems to be where they tell you uh, what the timings of the shows are. No, that one's locked. Right. So we're in the back of the hotel then. So we could put some lights on. Sounds a little bit of light. Quite nice with the light up actually. For some reason they want you to walk down this ziggy zaggy thing. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, then can you get anywhere else? I don't know if you can, I think that's a back street. I think that just goes out to, uh, to a back street and nothing else. So there we go. It's the back half of the jail. It's hotel rooms. And uh, oh, somebody flushing a toilet there. Coming down the ancient pipes. It's the back of the jail. Christos. This is the room. Mm. So yeah, 
It's nas nasty to think, isn't it, that people were literally hung from here. Last set. This little room was the last thing they saw. So they went boom down into that little hole, bouncing around. Not a nice thought, is it? And oh, I just noticed. I just yes, noticed. That's the that's the thing that drops the floor. That's the actual handle that does it. So drops this floor so you'd be standing on it and just floor just drop floor would be no longer beneath you oh dear it is a bit grim it is a bit grim folks so So these are the executions that they did going from 1753 Henry Rogers right at the top murderer they murdered so they, they hung somebody William Francis for stealing sheep and John Pankhurst for a horse so literally just stealing a sheep and stealing horses you know lose your life yeah stealing an ox Jesus God. What? William Moyle for feloniously killing a mare. Killing a mare, a female horse, so he, he killed it, but in a felonious way. Felony. Felu, felu, feloniously. Felo, feloniously. Feloniously. Killing a mare. What the hell does that mean? It's crazy that yeah. the crimes that we're home for. Killing, yeah, killing a mare. What killing a skip, yeah. Oh shit. It's one of your look. Bestiality. Bestiality, yeah. John Hocking, bestiality. Dear, dear. Dear, dear, John. What was, he, what was that for then? We'll have to look him up. What did William, what did William Hocking do, folks? Right. What did he do? Bestiality. We've got some of the pictures of those at the of the edges of the building. I'm going to have a look at the uh, extra stuff that's outside. So I really like the, uh, like the roof. Like the gold castle. All right. building <clears throat> oh <laughs> I didn't see you standing there then I was like it's all right I thought you'd walked off somewhere <laughs> yeah you can't even smoke in the courtyard can you can, yeah. Oh, right. Um, I just prefer to come outside with it. Mm. We've got some really cool original bits down here, you know. We've got this little metal thing here was for a gas lamp. Oh, yes. 
Um, we've got the governor's house and Pat Benson's house. We're both privately owned now. Right. Um, you see, so you see the governor's house has like a little patio thing kind of built into the wall. Yes. And so you get access straight into the internals of the jail without having to come through the main gate. Right. Um, and the higher ranked you were, from a staff perspective, is the closer you'd be to the main jail. So you see governor, chaplaincy, and then down the road you've got some, it's actually called the Wilbur's Quarters on the gate. Right. And then the, the lower ranked you were as a staff member, okay. the further away you'd go from the jail. They must have heard us because the lights come on, look. <laughs> Definitely heard you now because it's gone off. Yeah, <laughs> spooky. Right, well, let's go back in and have a look. Um, so yeah, the zigzag was, was a prison garden, you were saying. Yeah, uh, so it's verged up now, but mm -hmm. it would have been a lot flatter back then. Every prisoner who died here was buried on site. doesn't matter if they were executed, if they died of an illness or an accident. Um, and unblessed ground, unconsecrated ground. Uh, which is why in the 1960s they were actually able to build a housing estate on top. Ah, oh, um, right. Imagine there's some interesting stories from the people that live there. Mm. Yes, yeah, so they're all have, living on top. Yeah, you have that whole area. Um, you have all of this external area. So if you go down here and turn mm -hmm. left onto the gravel slope, yep. you'll come to like a little picnic area. Okay. Um, that is very close to the first site of executions. Right. Where 51 people Just wait executed. for this to go past, yeah. I don't think he's going to go past. He's uh, my food delivery. Ah, right, okay. But yes, don't don't dismiss the external areas because we get a lot of good photography for the external areas, definitely. Okay, right. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll let you get your food. Thanks, man. No See you in a bit. Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So let's have a blast. See what we're dealing with. Just gonna look at the picnic area. side of the jail and you can see all the, the rooms here but these have been turned into hotel rooms the upper ones now so it's only the lowest rooms that are still used for the, the tour See any ghostly orbs you'll have to tell us folks let us know but yeah everything in this wing now this this bit is all the um, sort of animatronic interactive you know display things so yeah picnic area and then down and around the back now these are the cells and that's that's the emergency exit at the cell end of the cells. So I'm not sure if you can actually see in through there. It's a blackened blackened thing. This is the uh, hotel car park at the back. So we're not really allowed to uh, go and film inside here but we can have a look at the hotel and how they've done it out because it looks like a medieval castle and that is quite impressive I'm sure you'll agree so look at that They're all the old jail rooms jail rooms and that's a big wing of the old jail but it's now a hotel so sadly we can't go in there because that is in use as a hotel but there is a possibility that we're going to get access to a couple of rooms that used to be the old medical block a bit later on. So uh, we shall see. But for the moment, 
I think we've kind of covered it all. Oh, apart, apart from this, maybe. Let's have a look. This is the street that leads up. So you've got the uh, the road road here that drives up into the, uh, the hotel area. So it just basically goes up into the hotel. And that goes around here. Yeah, down there. And that's it. So let's go and have a look back where we came in. Just gotta watch your head here because this is uh, definitely bang your head territory. What's through here? Oh, just the lift. David Jones. David Jones. Yeah. David Jones. Yeah, David. 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 Uh, David Dalek Jones. Have you seen Ting Tong on your travels? <laughs> <laughs> Ting Tong. <laughs> Her yeah. visa needs to be uh, yep. taken away. Ting Tong's got how long? She hasn't been doing as she's told. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just. They said they can turn the lights off when you want. Oh, how do we do that? Yeah, they, you give them a shout. Um, oh, Haley's got the bloody Haley's number. Got, Haley's got the number, so you can ask them. They'll just turn everything off, so it's a bit more sort of spooky, yeah. don't you? Have you seen that there? This cage. Oh, I haven't actually. No. I believe people used to. It's an Iron Maiden. Yeah, they used to put people and stuff like that in this country. Yeah. It's mad. Well, the Iron Maiden it used to close. It was like a proper. Both sides of it would be covered, so you wouldn't have the view. But the inside of the Iron Maiden had spikes, so they'd close you in there and the spikes would press into you. It had spikes on it? Spikes on the inside. Oh my god. Yeah, so they call it an Iron Maiden. Wow. Yeah. It's a bit like this. It's called an Iron Maiden, guys. Yeah. But, but this is more of a restriction thing than an Iron Maiden because it's not designed to, to pierce the skin like an Iron Maiden was, but yeah. Still, not nice. And not my size either, I'm a bit too tall for that. Do you reckon they would have been like handcuffed in that? Like, um, um, I mean, it doesn't look like it was made for. Yeah, because you, you could probably bend your knees somewhat and get out, I don't know. I think once they, once they lift this down, your knees, you can't get your, you can't get your legs up enough to, to pull them out. Yeah. Possibly. So it might be effective. I reckon if you're short enough, you probably just slip out of it. But then they just beat you to within Batty. three inches of your life. Hmm. Um, if someone's, um, oh, how's Haley going to tell them to turn the lights off to the lives? Yeah, just give her a shout and tell her. Oh, that? that was quite interesting, was that? Dust? I mean, I haven't had any dust in here. That was quite big. Hmm. It wasn't, it wasn't my light. No, it, it, as he was coming out of the room. Just bring your light across to the left, Mark. Yeah, it wasn't here. It's more, yeah, it's just dust, yeah. Yeah, it's dust. Okay. It's, I think it's coming from your wallet. It's, yeah. There's not, much, there's not much in there. I'm going to put this down for a minute because my back's hurting, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Well, coming coming back out of this main door, I didn't realise that uh, it does actually say continue this way, but I, I hadn't realised there was anything in here. So, I don't know whether anybody else has missed this one as well, but there is actually a room in here. And, yeah, here you go. There is a room. The governor's office. Hmm. There's all locks and keys here, look. I didn't know this was here. So, there. Schmatt. Schmatthew. I didn't know this bit existed actually. Say something. How did you feel when you were here? It must have been really scary walking this way. Thanks. Are any of the executioners still here? What do you think about Henry Albert Pierpoint?
They're all buried here, you know that? All of them? All the, everyone who was executed in this, in this jail is buried here. Yeah. Yeah, and before that, um, I, I believe this, this went out further, they said. But they built this up and there's houses now built on the top, but basically... Somewhere here, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. They, they, it's non-consecrated ground as well. It's non-consecrated, so, uh, you know, they were allowed to build on top of it because it wasn't, you know, protected. They were just considered, you know, rubbish. The humans here, you know, buried. Insurmountable. Well, there we go, folks. That just goes to show don't bugger about with the buildings, otherwise, a ghost is gonna bloody leave you. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna they're gonna jump ship and go and go ghost something else. <laughs> the ghosts have ghosts. Yeah, we think ghosts. I'm just someone had a jump in there. I mean, That's the back of the hotel. It's crazy, man. Have you seen how big it is? Yeah, yeah. I walked through it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So if you go down, if you go down the picnic area That's down right. there and round the front, yeah. it's massive. It goes down. It's gigantic, yeah. Gigantic, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you would have seen it all when you drone. I mean, you hardly see any of it when you're here. But I mean, these are the active places. Yeah. So, it, you know, so you think most of it's in there? Oh my God! That, that, when they were in here earlier, they had um, a table, um, Jasmine. And Andrew, there was a table uh, vibrating, mm. and they shit themselves. But that's an active place. I mean, the governor was in there. It was used as a court system, and that's one of the... Right, done well, folks. Are so, you still recording? <laughs> yeah, well, I was just <laughs> recording, just for, for, the, for the hell of it. But uh, there we go, folks. Um, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the explore. And uh, you never know. Might see something. Uh, might see something on the playback of the footage. So if you spot anything, let us know in the comments. Give us the time as well. Don't forget the time. You can't just go. Did you see that thing? <laughs> Without the time, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am not going to watch again and again and again to find it. So give us the time. Okay. All the best. Thanks, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>